All right, let's get into Vikings. All right, Vikings Packers. I said earlier that this was a revenge game. Okay. Please elaborate. I do not know how. Zadarius Smith. <laughs> oh. <laughs> linebacker, outside linebacker for the Vikings. Uh, previously played with the Packers. He stated that as of yesterday, the sole reason he signed with the Vikings, and this is it's kind of Packers, please tell me it's to it's play against the Packers twice a year. He stated that the Packers treated him very poorly. Which he, is true. And he is excited to get to beat the crap out of Aaron Rodgers on Sunday. Okay. Real quick, so, I'm going to look up the first, Packers depth chart. Keep going. First things first, Packers are most likely going to be out without Alan Lazard this, um, this, this week. That's what it sounded like. Okay. So they're already down a receiver. I think Romeo Dubes is going to be the one. Uh, that's my opinion. I think that's going to, he's going to end up being the true one by the end yeah, of the season. Uh, according Christian to their Watson, thing, it would say but... Romeo would be playing X. Uh, yes. Sammy at Z, Randall Cobb at slot. You always got to be afraid of Sammy Watkins a little bit. It's week one. He always mm-hmm. goes off week one. But um, look, the big thing is Vikings have refortified their offensive line. The defensive line for the Packers, they're starting a rookie linebacker. The defensive front, okay, they have Kenny Clark. They have De- De- DeAndre Campbell, I think, but he's an inside linebacker. I don't really know who they have out on the outside. Wait, say it again for for the for uh for the Packers, Packers D line. I don't really know how they have who they have. Okay, on- so on D line they got uh Dean Lowry, Kenny Clark, Jaron Reed, and then Preston Smith and Devondre Campbell on the edge. So I thought De- um De- Devondre Campbell. Oh was- oh no 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 not Devondre Preston Smith and uh, Rashawn Gary misspoke. There. So Rashawn Gary is a little scary. Um, but look, Brian o- Brian O'Neill I think is one of the best t- tackles in the league, and I will stand by that. I don't think that he gets enough credit that he deserves. Uh, Madden absolutely kind of craps on him year in, year out, but I think he's one of the Brandon best. Brandon Neal, is that what you said? Brandon Ryan Neal? O'Neal. Brian, Brian, Brian O'Neal. O'Neal. On the Vikings? Yeah, he's the right tackle. The left tackle is Christian Darasaw, who's got Trent Williams. Uh, Williams is Darasaw the second year? Yeah. yeah. He's got Trent Williams comparison. I'm really not as concerned this year about the outside as I was last year. So, what are your thoughts on Ed Ingram? New Ed right Ingram guard? is LS- a guard. right guard a rookie from LSU. He beat out three veterans this offseason to win that position. Dude is a mauler. He's absolutely gross. Multiple pancakes in the preseason. I don't know how many pressures he allowed in the preseason, but he played several snaps, several games, and never really like gave up. Like he he earned that spot. And I I have faith in him. I'm actually very excited for him. The the one spot on the offensive line that I'm a little concerned right now is Garrett Bradbury at center versus Kenny Clark might be a problem. Uh, Ezra Cleveland, second year, maybe he's a third year. I think he's second year. Um, just because out of all the other places, I think that might be the second weakest link. But the big thing is Kenny Clark versus mm-hmm. Garrett Bradbury. Let's get away from the D line, right? Let's go in the secondary. Yeah. Jair Alexander, obviously good. Yeah. Eric Stokes is average. He's not terrible. Uh, so th- this one, what do you think? Uh, how do you think the Vikings are going to try to cover this? Do you think it'll be uh, Jair on Thielen? And then a double on uh, Jettas. No, I think Jair has the is very egotistical. I think that he's going to want to take Justin Jefferson one on one. But do you think the Packers will want to move Jair to slot or nickel to defend I think, that? I think I don't know if Jair's. I don't know if Jair's one of those corners who sticks to one like side. Like Jalen goes every. I like know Jalen, Jalen and Lattimore. I I honestly think are the only two guys who will literally line up wherever the fuck the receiver is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if Jair if 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 Jair like Gilmore takes down one yeah. side like that's Jair like, is one of those Jackson takes down a side. If Jair is one of those corners that follows, because I honestly I don't watch enough Packers unless they're playing playing the Vikings. I don't, I don't know. If Jair follows, then I think he's gonna go wherever Justin Jefferson is. If he sticks on one side, it's gonna be probably whoever the hell's on that side. Well, but, yeah, and also I mean, if he sticks on one side, like this may be the Justin Jefferson show. Who, who's who, who's the Packers nickel? Uh I think it's Eric Stokes. Nah, Stokes is the other outside. Ra- Rasul Douglas. Oh, Rasul. Du- he's not Rasul bad. Rasul Douglas. He's, I think he's 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 guarding Justin Jefferson. He's gonna get his ass cooked. Um, yeah. Oh, also, keep keep going. I I, I I'm about to pull oh, some fun stats for you. I, I I'm I think that the, the Vikings are winning this game. I think that single handedly. I think their defense might have some problems. It's Aaron Rodgers, obviously. It might be some problems, but um. 
It's in, I think it really helps that it's in Minnesota. It's in Minnesota. Crowd's going to be going crazy. It's a new coach. Makes the crowd go even crazier. And you could say that because it's a new coach, they're more likely to lose this game because of ineptitude, because there's non-familiarity with coaching as a head coach. But I think that also plays into the Vikings' favor because Green Bay is going to have no idea what yeah Kevin O'Connell is going to do. I something I think about like let's say I'm the Green Bay D coordinator. Am I watching Rams? T- like, am I watching? That's what I would be doing. Tape? Like, I, I would t- like I'd be watching offseason tape tape of the Rams when Kevin O'Connell is calling plays. But I also would be watching the Vikings, like just basically how players run routes or what their decision making is. They, yeah, I. I, I feel like it's very, very hard to prepare uh, for teams with new coordinators. Like, now I think about it, like, it is very difficult. You, you really can't get tape on them. Uh, but, Everett, this is something that may – the first stat will make you happy. The second may concern you a little. So, first number I have for you. When the Vikings played the Packers last year, it was the first, uh, first time they met last year. It was in Minnesota. The Vikings won that game 34-31. to 31. Yeah. In that game, Justin Jefferson – uh, eight catches on 10 targets, 169 yards, and two touchdowns in their way. Right. That is one of the most hilarious stat lines I've ever heard in my life. Uh, but the second time they met last year didn't, didn't quite go as well. No, no, Packers but also let me, let me, let me explain that. Let me explain that game. Let me explain that game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say the stat though. Six no, catches, let me finish. 11 you know targets, playing quarterback. 58 you know he's, yards. You know who's playing quarterback that game? It was not Kirk Cousins. Sean Mannion was playing quarterback that game. It was the exact same dude who just sailed the ball over the end zone, got his ass cut. Okay. We can, we, we can, we can throw that So, out. and it also was snowing and it was in Green Bay. I don't, I don't, I'm discarding that game. Okay. Okay. We can throw that one out the window. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I think, at least from a Packers perspective, just based on that Justin Jefferson game when they lost the Packers, or when they lost the Vikings, like, that's their number one priority on defense. No, Shut I, him I, down. I think uh, that, that's all, yeah. But, but here's the scary thing is, you shut down Justin Jefferson, you're leaving Adam Thielen wide open, KJ Osborne wide open, Dalvin Cook is out there somewhere, Irv Smith Jr. is out there somewhere, Jalen Rieger, if he develops hands on the Vikings, he's out there somewhere. I, I do think though, yes, that is that is correct. I think though that you're better off trying to shut down Justin Jefferson than like no, no, I agree, but limit, also I'm just saying it's not, scary. Not it's even scary limit him, even. but like I, I don't even know what what the fuck else. What is the other defense strategy other than shut down Justin Jefferson? You just because I mean their run. team is built to stop the run just by nature. Looking at it, yeah. Uh, Literally, the one concern I have on this team is their fucking nickel. That's like the one position where I'm like, what the hell on defense? Like, I, I'm looking at this defense. This thing looks fucking stacked, Everett. Like, this Packers defense looks stacked. Yeah. No, I mean, there's. I just think that there are there are going to be discrepancies. I think that their safeties are good, but they're not elite. I think that um, they're they're starting a rookie linebacker. Their corners, Jair's obviously great. That's Eric. a very big concern for me rookie linebackers especially interior linebackers yeah you're throwing them into the fire De- like devondre campbell's very good he's, he's a he played for um the gophers by the way he's from minnesota um or at least played for them but uh i just think that the, there are better defenses in the nfl and i think that one-to-one they do not match up with the vikings offense you really you really don't think like I'm gonna no, be honest. I I, if I'm going through this, if I if I think if I think if position, I think that the Vikings offense or one of the is gonna be one of the most prolific offenses in the NFL this year, there's no way that I'm gonna say that the Packers have an equal defense as, as that equates to that. I, I get that, but I would have to firmly disagree with that. I think the Packers, their defense is like the only real great thing other than Aaron Rodgers, of course, like on their team. Yeah. Um. All right. So. I'm going to take the Vikings in that game. I don't know if you have the Packers, but I'm taking the Vikings. I, I, I'm taking the Vikings because that okay. game in Minnesota, I think yeah. that really, really So helps. 